All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Canadian Control Mod, which is being made by user jcrew05. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new wooden hockey stick weapon for you to enjoy, and I have been surprisingly liking this so far. You guys know me, I'm not generally a fan of melee in, frankly, any Bethesda game, but yes. Scroll through the Nexus and see a mod called the Canadian Cudgel, and it just grabs your eye. And I mean, plus, I actually do like hockey, so uh, yeah, uh. good times uh, there. So let's uh, jump on over this way and have a look at what exactly we do get with the hockey stick, which in its most basic and standard form will do 25 damage with a speed of medium and a weight of 3. Not many stats to go over with a melee weapon, but there you go. And as you can see, it's a pretty nicely made hockey stick. I mean, it looks like any wooden hockey stick I've ever messed with in the real world. So, uh, good times there, but it does have some fun detailing to it, which is uh, quite nice. And as you can see down here, we do have some modifications for it, we've got one to change up damage and other stats, and then one that is purely aesthetic. So not a whole lot, but that's also another thing pretty typical with any melee weapons in the game. Not a lot to change up, but enough to make it more deadly. And, well, that is a good time. Now, I do want to mention before we move forward that this is actually a standalone version of the wooden hockey stick seen in Brothers in Arms Chapter 2, which is a quest and adventure mod that released uh, recently, which I'll get to eventually here on the channel once I'm done with the zone. Looking forward to it, frankly. Chapter 1 was great. So this is nice to have a uh, just little sneak peek and a little taste of uh, that and of course always good to see a uh, nice standalone weapon mod from other larger mods now as for how you do get your hands on one of these great things well it's pretty darn simple it is going to be added into the leveled loot list for raiders super mutants as well as any shops that normally sell melee weapons and you'll start seeing them in the world at level five so yeah man it'll be pretty easy to get your hands on and then you'll have a glorious hockey stick to beat people with. So let's have a look at the modifications that we do have on offer. And like I said, we got two categories, more of a combat-oriented one, or damage-rather oriented, and an aesthetic. So in the more damage-oriented, we've of course got the standard nun, a heavy hockey stick if you want the good old-fashioned goalie hockey stick there, a puncturing version that'll, uh, you know, Bump it up to the same damage as the heavy of 37, but add in armor piercing. The bladed is similar there in that it's also bumping it up to 37, but this time it's going to add bleeding. And finally, we have the most damaging one of heated with 50 physical and 20 energy damage. And ha boy, a chance to ignite enemies. And who doesn't love setting their enemies ablaze? And yeah, just for some basic materials and some ranks in blacksmith, you can get your hands on these. And of course, then up the damage with any additional perks in your character. Now then in the uh, cosmetic options here, it's all the same thing, just different colors of tape wraps around the hockey stick, but at the base we've got nothing, just wood. Then we've got blue, leather, red, and white. And I quite like that on just the basic hockey stick here, you know, you also get the tape down on the stick itself. Once you do actually put on some of the other things, of course you have larger things taking up space, so you're only going to get the wrap up top here on the shaft of the hockey stick, but at least on the base ones, you are going to get that uh, wrapping down here too, which just looks good. I do like those uh, those tape wraps. So let me go grab my two modified versions that I made over here. We've, of course, got the heavy goalie one there and the heated hockey stick with, of course, red wrapping, because why not? And yeah, let's give these things a go. It is a melee weapon, so not exactly shooting material, but why not? Let's go whack the targets here. And... Ah. Missed. <laughs> Actually, can we even hit shooting targets with a melee weapon? I don't know. I don't normally do melee weapons in this series. But yes, it's... It's melee weapon. 
You got your heavy attack, you got your just normal swipe, and you got your block, and that is that. It seems to be using the same animation as the axe in the game, so nothing too crazy there. I mean, what other animation are you going to use? It's a hockey stick. Though it would be pretty funny if it was like a down low hockey animation, or like a checking animation. That would be pretty cool. But no, just the, uh, the axe animation there. And yeah, then you just use it to whack some enemies. So let's spawn in some normal raiders and what the heck, I'll start actually with the basic standard one here, unmodified with the base damage, and let's get him with some bats, there we go, three hits, boom, oh boy, we may not kill him in three. Oh no, die raider scum, die, oh not quite, there we are, magnificent, he's now dead. So let's get another one in with the uh, heavy weighted hockey stick here, gotta love that goalie stick. That's the position I usually played, because I'm not the strongest of skaters. But <laughs> there we go, with 37 damage, a little bit more against your enemies. So let us... Oh boy. Get that and get a good heavy shot. Oh yeah, we even got the animation. Oh, magnificent. And finally, let us grab ourselves the heated hockey stick here, because I mean... Who doesn't love lighting people on fire? Plus, it kind of makes it look like a scythe, and that's kind of fun. So, yeah, let's grab that one. Also, heal myself up a little bit. There we go. And one more raider. We got the action points, too. So, raider. Oh, boy. Time to die. Oh, mostly dead in one go. Magnificent. And we did set him ablaze. Glorious. All right, you know what? What the heck? One more, and we'll just go in for a heavy strike on this guy. Hello, you. Ah! I missed entirely. <laughs> oh, and then he interrupted. Okay, you know what? Die. <laughs> oh, oh, God, what have we done? Oh, okay. I do got to admit, even though I don't like melee and Bethesda games, it is fairly visceral on occasion, especially with the uh, animations for the takedowns. Always good. But, yeah, I mean, it's... It's what? a fun Canadian cudgel. Oh, God, we got the animation again. Sweet. A fun hockey stick to, you know, destroy your enemies with. And that is a pretty fun time. Even for me, who doesn't normally like melee, it's entertaining to run around and, uh, you know annihilate these poor poor raiders so if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself which i'd certainly recommend you go and do you know look at the link in the description as per usual but that my friends is gonna be it for this one today hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back oh boy for the next episode when we'll be looking at hopefully another wonderful First mod mistake. but until Bye. that time uh thank you for watching and as always have a good one